God. Isn't that right? What did I do then? I flipped the camera backwards. Okay. Go ahead. Glory to God. Well, praise the Lord. God bless you all. It's good to be with you tonight. Well, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I hope that you are looking, I hope that you are trusting, I hope that you are believing God for your breakthrough, for your miracle right now. Glory to God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this opportunity once again to share your holy word. And Father, I believe today for miracles, signs, and wonders. Oh, God. I believe, Father, today that you will confirm your word with signs following. And I'm believing, Father, for miracles of healing, miracles of deliverance going to manifest today throughout the viewing and listening audience. And God, we thank you and we give you glory, honor, and praise for it in advance in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Now, Father, I ask you that you would anoint every ear to hear. Prepare every heart to receive. Make my tongue as of a pen of a ready writer to write your word upon the hearts and upon the mind of your people that they will know the truth and that the truth shall make them free. And Father, we covenant with you to give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' glorious and mighty majestic name. Amen and amen. Well, God bless you. May be seated in the presence of the Lord. Welcome to a new life in Christ Jesus Church where Jesus Christ is glorified. Amen. And I believe today that if you will release your faith and, and agree with the word of God, God will manifest his word on your behalf because God is working right now to bring you to a manifestation of his healing power, those of you that have a need in your bodies. Amen. I believe that God wants to do that for you right now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, I need uh, my teaching material. <laughs> Glory to God. I don't know what, what make me do that. Get up there and don't even uh, have it up there. I have my stuff with me. But I got it now, glory to God. It wasn't too far away. Amen, amen, amen. Well, how's everyone doing? Y'all, Everybody happy to see me? Glad to be in the house of the Lord? I'm glad to have you in the house of the Lord. Glory to God. Because I know that God wants to do something. Now, he wants to do it when? Now. Now, that's right. He wants to do it now, right now. He wants to bring you to a place of healing and of peace, inner peace. Glory to his name. Yeah. And so I'm believing with you and for you. And I know that God that we serve is able to bring you to a place of inner peace, inner healing. All things are possible to him that believe. Amen. So let's believe today. Let's believe today. Let's release our faith today. Let's believe today because God is working on our part. God is working on our part. And if he's working, then who are we to say no? We're going to say yes. We're going to say yes. Amen. amen. We're going to say yes and amen. Because the word of God is alive and health and healing to all our flesh. Amen. amen. The word of God is alive and health and healing to all our flesh. And if God be for us, who can be against us? Amen. Amen. Glory to his name. Glory, 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 glory. Amen, amen, amen. Now, you did flip the YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Glory to his name. Okay. And so now, as we come together and as we put our confidence and our trust in the Lord, we will see that God's hand is working right now. It's, it, it's there. I got you. Amen. I got you. Amen. <clears throat> so, first of all, let's go to the book of Acts. Amen. Let's go to the book of Acts because I'm believing with you, but I want to I want to I want to cause faith to rise up in your heart, Amen. 
I want to read, I want I want the word of God to produce faith in your heart because I want you to believe for your miracle for your breakthrough in the book of Acts chapter 10 verse number 38 amen that's our text and that's what we're going to read right now Acts chapter 10 and verse number what 38 you're paying attention that's good amen and read how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost. It's been a while since I did some preaching on here, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this tonight, then. A couple of weeks. No, I've been doing faith. I've been faith. doing faith for the last three weeks. Yeah. Amen. So now that I've been teaching on faith, now I'm ready to release yeah, my faith. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Verse number 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all. Oh, I like that word, all. Healing all. Amen. You need, to, you need to circle that and underline that because that's a powerful word right there. Who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Amen. Now, if God was with him at that time, and the Bible says that Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, if he's the same yesterday, today, forever. That means that right now, he's the same now as he was in the days when he walked the earth, because he never changes. Amen. How God anointed Jesus Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all. And healing all. Amen. So I believe that God wants to heal all once again. Amen. Now, in God's plan of redemption, not only is there a remission of sin went to the cross, not only was our of sin went to the cross, mm -hmm. but he took our healing, he took our sickness to the cross with him also. Mm -hmm. Amen. Look with me in the book of Matthew now, chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8, verse number 17. We're going to go through a few scriptures today. Amen. But I want you to to, to purpose in your heart to, re, to, put, to release your faith. To release your faith. Matthew chapter what? Eight. Chapter 8, verse number what? 17. Verse number 17. Amen. Good. And it reads, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, himself, Jesus himself, talking about Jesus, himself took our infirmities. See, there it is right there. See, he not only took our, uh, he, he, he not only took our sins to the cross. Amen. The redemption work was, was more than just applying to our sin, but it also applies to our what? To our, our health, our sicknesses. Amen. The sickness that you might experience here in the earth. Amen. So we see that God is concerned about our well-being. Amen. If God is concerned about our well-being, then we ought to be concerned about our well-being. Because God sent his son who went about doing good and healing all. Amen. He didn't leave not one out. He healed all that were oppressed of the devil. And then it said like this, for God was with him. For God was with him. And I believe today that God is with us. So why not you release your faith with me. Amen. Believe God for your healing. How many of you need healing today? Release your faith. Boy, I feel the Holy Ghost for thought of resting in place already. Glory to God. Mm. Release your faith right now and believe God for your healing. Now, many times people are, 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 are believing God for healing, but then when they don't get it, they say, well, it, it was, it was, it's not my turn. It's always your turn. Don't never say that it's not your turn. When God said that he came and healed all, why would you think he left you out if he healed all? Amen. Well, you can take that word right there and you can, you can, you can bank on that word because God is not, he not, he not slack concerning his promises. Amen. Amen. So how, so now, now look what he said right here. Oh, glory to God. And in the book of Isaiah chapter 53, verse number four. Amen. Like I said, we're going to be going through a few scriptures today, but I want you to get a hold of this because, see, your healing is in the Word. The manifestation that you're believing for is in the Word. It's connected to the Word. You might think your healing is connected to me. Your healing is not connected to me. Your healing is connected to the Word. I am anointed. That's true because the Bible tells me in Luke chapter, chapter 4, verse 18, mm -hmm. how, verse 19, Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken heart. Amen. To 
preach deliverance to the captain, recover the sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them that are bruised, and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And right now, my brothers and sisters, I am preaching the acceptable year of the Lord. It is God's will for you to receive your healing now, today. Amen. You don't have to put it off. Only, way, only, thing, only, only thing that's going to make you put it off is your, is your spirit of doubt, your spirit of unbelief. Amen. That's going to cause you to put it off. But the word of God doesn't tell you to put it off. Look what the word of God said in, in uh, Isaiah chapter 53, verse number 4. Verse number four said, Surely he had borne Jesus, surely he, Jesus, had borne our grief and carried our sorrows. And we did esteem him, stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Amen. Look at verse number five. Mm -hmm. Verse number five put here just for you and me. Amen. I, I, I don't know about you, but he put it right there for me. I, I choose to believe it. I choose to believe it with all my heart that God is talking to me. Amen. When my body is sick, I choose to believe the word of God. That if nobody else can believe it, I can believe it because I used to be sick. Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, when the doctor told me three years ago that I had cancer, and I said, Devil, you a liar. I ain't got no cancer. <laughs> I said, Nope, I don't accept that. Hey, Amen. I walked outside that doctor's office. I looked up into the heavens. I said, God, that doctor just lied on me. <laughs> that, and, 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 uh, and I said, he said I have cancer. But God, that's not what your word said. Your word said that you bore my sickness, you carried my diseases, and by your stripes I am healed. Amen. So let's look at Isaiah 53, verse number 5 right now. They're going to tell, tell us exactly that. Amen. They're going to tell us exactly what verse number 5 said. But he was wounded for our transgressions. <laughs> See, there it is right there. He was bruised for our iniquities. Mm -hmm. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, the Bible says, with his stripes. See, this stripe was taken on the cross when he went to the cross. Amen. Amen. When he went to the cross on Mount Calvary, when he hung up on Golgotha Hill, his stripes, those stripes that they gave him on, in Pontius Pilate courtyard, went with him. Amen. And they was nailed to the cross. So the Bible said, with his stripes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory to God. And that was said, with his stripes, we are healed. We are healed. And the Bible said we are healed. And the Bible said that he cannot lie. <laughs> so why are we fussed? Why are we fighting? Why are we uh, not believing God? Why are we uh, are still operating in a realm of doubt and unbelief? Amen. God can't lie. And he said that he bore our sicknesses and he carried our diseases. And he said by his stripes, we are healed. Not going to be healed. He said that you are healed. Amen. That you are healed. Now, if you are healed, then you might want to just get in on the benefits of walking in that, in that, in that, in that anointing, in that power right now and accept your healing. You might want to accept it right now. Why? You, you don't have to wait till the, till the end of the service. Amen. Why do you want to wait when you can accept it right now, what God has done for you? God has made all things available for you. And all he's expecting out of you <clears throat> is just you to get on board and believe the gospel. Just get on board and believe the gospel. Amen. Because once you get on board, you can believe that what God is saying is true. And everything that God said is for you. It's, it's, it's alive right now. Amen. And God is working it out for your good. God is working it out for your good. And if you just release your faith and just receive it right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the pain. I rebuke the sickness. I rebuke the viruses. I rebuke the germs in the name of Jesus. And I release your healing power right now. Glory to God. I release your healing power right now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. And I'm believing, I'm believing God for you. I'm believing God for you because your healing is now. It's time for you to receive your healing now. Amen. Oh my God. Oh my God. I see, I see, I see that. Yeah, Lord, I see that. Yeah. Amen. Someone is struggling. Someone is struggling. Amen. Someone is struggling. But I'm going to tell you something. God wants you to know that that uh, he took your sins on the cross with him. Let's look at 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Amen. Glory to his name. 1 Peter 2, 24. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He took your sin, he took your sin on the cross and your sickness on the cross. I just showed you right here that he took your sickness on the cross. Amen. In, in Isaiah 53, verse number 4 and 5. Amen. But look what it says in Isaiah in uh, 1 Peter 2, verse number 24. Mm -hmm. Who is who is own self, talking about Jesus, who is own self, 
bear our sins. Notice what he said. Now he bear our sins. He bore our sins. Amen. No matter what sin you have committed, let me tell you something. The moment you, the moment you acknowledge Jesus Christ and, and and ask Him to forgive you of your sin, He 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 not only received that sin, but He acknowledged you for acknowledging Him. Amen. He acknowledged you for acknowledging him. And he calls you his son. He calls you his daughter. He translates you from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. He brings you right into the family, right into the sheepfold. Amen. You are very precious to him. You are the apple of his eye. So why don't you believe that what God has said, he's also able to bring it to pass in your life. God is not a man that he shall lie, nor the son of man he shall repent. Amen. Had he not said it, and should he not make it good, I believe that God that we serve, he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. So he said in, in, in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse number 24, who, how, who, had, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes we are healed. By who's, we what now? Word. We were healed. So that's past ten. See, I want to see where you're going to catch that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because in Isaiah 53, verse number 5, he said, we are healed. Amen. And then and then in Matthew chapter 8, verse number 17, he said we that he, that he healed them all. Amen. And right here in the book of uh, uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, and verse number 24, verse, he said that what now? We were. We were healed. So that put it what? Past, past ten. Past ten, amen. So if we are in Isaiah, then we is now. <laughs> that's a rough way of saying it, but, <laughs> but but that's the truth. If we are healed in Isaiah, then we if we were healed in Isaiah, then we are healed now, amen. According to the Word of God, amen. We are healed right now according to the Word of God. But now we need to we need to understand what God is saying to us though, because first <clears throat> in our in our text today. In our text today, in the book of first, in the book of Acts, chapter two, verse number twenty-four, uh, thirty-eight. I mean, Acts chapter ten, verse thirty-eight. How God went up, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Amen. See, God knows how to bring you to a place of, of receiving, to a place to receive. Amen. And He knows that the only way you're going to get there is through believing. Notice what He said here in the book of. Uh, uh, see some Christian, because some Christian need they some Christian who need healing have said that uh, maybe God wants to heal me and maybe He don't. I've been this way so long I don't know. <laughs> you ever heard somebody talk like that? Yeah. I have too. Amen. I I have heard people talk like that myself. Amen. And I'm thinking, oh, what well, that's an ignorant going to see. Amen. That's just ignorant going to see. Glory to God. But I thank God that God has given us a, a He given us faith. And he's given us wisdom. It, did Jesus ever put <clears throat> sickness on anyone? No. No. Jesus never put sickness on anyone. That's why he said how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing. Not putting sickness on them, but healing. Okay. Amen. Mm -hmm. He went about doing good and healing. Not putting sickness on them. Amen. So we need to see that. We need to understand that because it's the devil that puts sickness on you. It's the devil that caused you to be sick. It's the devil that caused you to miss out on God's promises. Amen. So notice what he says right here. Notice what he says right here. And, and let's look at John chapter 14. John chapter 14. Amen. And look at verse number 9 and 10. John 14 verse 9 and 10. Glory to God. Because we're going we're gonna to read, some, we're gonna read some more scriptures right now. But I want you to look at this right here with me real quick. John chapter 14 verse number 9. Jesus said unto him... Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? Amen. How long have you been walking with the Lord, and you still don't know him? Well. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Had thou not known me, Philip? He said, he, he that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou, show us the Father? Look at verse number 10. Mm -hmm. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. He doeth the works. Amen. So God is at work right now. 
God is working right now to, to bring you to a position of, to receive your healing. God is working right now to bring you in a position to receive in your healing. Amen. And I don't care if it's a fractured bone or a, a broke collarbone or whatever. God is bringing you to the position right now to receive your healing. Amen. What the devil has meant for evil, God is turning around for his glory. Amen. For his glory. So that his name can be glorified through you. Amen. So now let's look at this one. Let's look at this now. Because if God, if God, if God is working on your behalf to bring you into position to receive your healing, do you want, do you want to know what God is, what God is like? Amen. Look at Jesus, and you'll see what God is like. God is, God is a, he, 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 he love, he love everyone. Amen. He's a love of all humanity. Do not want, do, do you want to see, do you want to see God at work? Then look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. Amen. See, this is why he said, the works that I do shall you do also. Because if we see, if we can see Jesus at work, then when we start doing the works that Jesus did, then we can see God at work in us. We can see God at work through us. Amen. We can, start, we can see God working and bringing people to receiving their healing, their deliverance. Amen. And setting free, being set free. This is where God is wanting, this is what God is looking at, folks. This is where God is bringing us to. He wants us to understand. Amen. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want? Uh, do you want to know the will of God? Look at Jesus. He is the expression of the will of God in the flesh. Amen. He was the expression of the will of God in the flesh. Jesus is the will of God in action. Amen. So when you watch, when you look at, when you read about Jesus' life, you read about you read about the will of God in action. Amen. In action. Look at uh, uh, John six thirty eight. Let's back it up. Look at John six thirty eight. Amen. Are you there? Yeah. Amen. John six thirty eight, and it reads, "For I." Are you there? Mm -hmm. Okay. For I came down from heaven, not to do what, mine own will, but the will of Him that sent me. So when you look at the life of Jesus, you're looking at the will of God in action. Amen. Because he came down to do not his own will, but the will of him that the will of him that sent him. Amen. The will of him that sent him. Did Jesus go about, did Jesus go about making people sick? Not one time. Not one time Jesus went about making people sick. But how many people Jesus went around that was sick? Many. Amen. Many. And how many of them that was healed? Many. All. All was healed. Amen. So sickness did not come by Jesus. Sickness came by the devil. No. No, no, Jesus did not bring them to the position of sickness. He went about doing good and healing. He went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Amen. But the Bible said, for God was what? With him. For God was with him. And they would say in, in Acts chapter 10, verse 38, how God of Nazareth, how God anointed, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all. And healing all. See, this is what we need to see today. God healing all. We need to focus on this today because, you see, you need to have enough faith in God's word and God himself and in the Lord Jesus Christ that God can still work the same miracles that he wrought when he was walking in the earth. Amen. Because he's still here. How's he here? He's here in you and me. Amen. He's here in you and me. What is he doing? He's doing his work. Amen. From the, net, from the natural standpoint, it is difficult for us to, for, 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 for people to understand the most, that most of the law governs on earth. You see, if I, if, 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 what, how can I, what can I, what is it, was crazy. See this light right here? This light, this light. Okay. This light has a, a, a switch back there that if you turn that, if you hit that switch, it's going to, it's going to cause this light to do what? To go off. Yeah, to go off. Then if I hit the switch again, it's going to cause the light to come on. Mm -hmm. See, this is what the Word of God will do. If you believe the Word of God, it's going to cause the, your spirit to be illuminated with light. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then when you, when, you, when you start doubting the Word of God, it's going to cause that illumination that you have just received to be going dormant. Mm -hmm. Amen. But then you begin to believe again, the light going to bring, going to light back up again. Then all of a sudden, revelation knowledge is going to begin to flow. Revelation not begin to flow. Then you're going to find out that it is God's will for you to be healed. How do you know? Because the word of God says so. 
Amen. The word of God says so. He bore my sicknesses. He carried my diseases. And by his stripes, I am healed. I am healed. Amen. And then I can look at the book of Psalm chapter chapter one chapter one, uh, 107. Psalm chapter 107, verse number 20. That he sent his word. How now God God is God is concerned about his people. The Bible said he sent his word and healed them. Now I was one of them that needed healing back then. <laughs> I was one of them that needed healing back then. And so when he sent his word and healed them, I got in line with them. <laughs> I got right in line with them. Why? Because I was one of them that needed healing. Amen. And so I received my healing. And ever since I received my healing, I've been preaching it. Glory to God. I've been preaching it. And I'm never going to stop preaching it because I know God's word works. God's word works. Glory to God. And you should always you should always take God's word face value. Amen. You need to rebuke this. You need to be like Jesus. I don't care what kind of storm rising up around you. Remember? Jesus was laying down in the bottom of the boat sleep, in the back of the boat sleep. And the storm was raging against the disciples, and they got scared. <laughs> Amen. And so they went down and woke him up and said, Master, cares not that we perish? And Jesus got up and he did what? He didn't, he didn't, he rebuked the storm. Amen. He spoke to the storm. He rebuked the storm. Amen. You see, you got to learn to speak to that, 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 that storm that is, that is raising up, rising up against your health. You need to speak to that situation that is causing you to experience a uh, uh, pain and, 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 and sickness and disease in your body. You need to learn how to speak to that thing. Amen. You need to take the word of God and you need to, you know, you need, you need to allow that word to meditate upon your mind, meditate upon your heart. Amen. You need to let it go from your mind into your spirit. You need to meditate upon that word. Amen. You know what I mean by meditate? I mean to read it. Amen. And then you go back and read it again. Then you go back and read it again until, all of, until, until, you, until it comes to the point that you don't have, that you can just sit there and think about every, every word that you just read. You can bring, you can recall every word that you just read, word for word. Recall it in your, in, your, in, your, in your memory bank. Amen. Then just sit back there and think on what you, just sit there and think on each word. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Just think on each word. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good. See, I didn't get to, I didn't get to be able to, to, to talk like this just by reading, but when I meditate upon it, it began to stick. It began to stick. Amen. And it, it went from my spirit. It went to my mind, into my spirit. And then all of a sudden, it began to bring forth revelation. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all. Amen. Amen. And healing all. And so when the, when the word began to bring that revelation, when the word began to minister to my heart, oh, I just, oh, my God. I just, I just couldn't wait. I said, Lord, that's me. That's me. <laughs> that's me, Lord. I want it now. The glory to God. I receive it now. <laughs> Amen. But now, when, when, I, when we look at this, see, uh, the, storm had, the storm had arose on the sea of Galilee, mm -hmm. and Jesus was in the, was in the, back, of the back of the ship of sleep. Mm -hmm. Amen. On a pillow. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then they come, the disciples woke him up. Said, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And then, you know, now, 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 notice the storm didn't come because Jesus was there. No. The storm came from the. It didn't come. It didn't come because of Jesus. It came because of the enemy. It came because of the enemy, not because of Jesus. Amen. Sickness don't come to you because of Jesus. Sickness come to you because of the enemy. That storm that you experience in your life didn't come because of Jesus. That storm that you experience in your life came is coming. Is working on you because of the enemy. Mm -hmm. and that's why you must you must understand that God has given you the authority. God has given you power over the powers of the enemy. Amen. He's given you power over the powers of the enemy. So when I looked at this, when I see this, I think, oh my God, that is so powerful. Amen. You see, Adam, Adam really, a Adam originally was the god of this world, mm -hmm. but he sold out. He sold out to he sold out to the devil, amen. And, and 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 he committed high treason. He committed treason and sold out the world to the devil. And now the devil is the god of this world, but his lease is running out. 
<laughs> this lease is running out. Hey, Amen. And so we so we gotta we gotta get ourselves in position. Hey, Amen. We gotta get ourselves in position because God is about to do exceedingly abundant above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. oh glory to his name. And Psalms 10 and Psalms uh, 90, Psalms 87. Psalms 87. Psalms 89, I mean, Psalms 89 and verse number 11. Psalms 89, verse number 11. Psalms 89, verse number 11. And it reads, The heavens are dying, the earth also is dying. As for the world and the fullness thereof, thou hast founded them. Who founded them? God. Amen. Thou had found them. God founded them, but but God and then God gave the God God gave men dominion over all the earth. Mm -hmm. But in the garden, man gave up, man gave up the, 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 the ability or the authority to, to be the God of the earth. He gave up that right. Amen. So now we have to we have to take everything that we get now, we have to take it by faith. We have to receive it by faith. Glory to God. We have to receive it by faith. Because God is, God is not going to, he's not going to, see, God want to fight your battle, but you got to be willing to stand firm. You got to be willing to stand firm. Adam committed high treason and sold out the, to the devil. And the Bible tells us that now Satan is the God of this world. Amen. Mm -hmm. Look at uh, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Are you there? 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And look with me in verse number 4. In whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believed not. You see, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. See, if the devil can keep you blinded, he can keep you defeated. That's it. If the devil can keep you blinded, he can keep you defeated. When did Satan become the god of this world? After Adam sinned. It was after Adam sinned against God. That's when Satan became the god of this world. Amen. We need to get some we need to get some of some of these uh things straight out in our minds because you see we thinking that we I don't know what y'all thinking. I ain't going to say <laughs> I'm not going to say what y'all think because I don't know what y'all think. <laughs> Amen. But I know that your thank you got to come in line with the word of God, with the word of God. Amen. Because you see, that's when that's when Jesus, that's when the healing of Jesus is going to manifest in your life. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good. Amen. How that's, how, how, that's the, that's a plan, that's a, that's a plain statement. Amen. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. That's a plain statement. Amen. And all that means everyone was healed. Everyone was healed. Amen. Everyone was healed under the ministry of Jesus Christ. Now, if everyone was healed under the ministry of Jesus Christ, and we are now carrying forth that same ministry, then why is it not working among us today? Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. You see, the Bible says right here in the book of uh, Mark chapter 16. And Jesus said, and, and, and he, talking about Jesus, said unto them, Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. And he, Jesus, said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He Verse number six, verse number seventeen says, "And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name; shall they cast out devils?" And verse number eighteen said, "They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover." The latter part of verse number eighteen. Amen. Let's stop. Let's stop and analyze this, and let's see what God is actually saying to us. What, which is which is one of the sick areas, which is one of the areas that Jesus wants 
He wants to bring us to a completion of healing. He wants to touch us. He wants to minister to us. He wants to bring us to a place where God's word will manifest on our part. Amen. If we were, if we were God, if if it was, if it were God's will for some of us to remain sick, then why would we want to go to Jesus? Why would we want to go to the hospital? Why would we want to go to the to those healing ministries trying to seek healing? If it if, if you think that it's God's will for you to stay sick, amen, if you don't think it's God's will for you to be healed, I believe it's God's will not only for you to be healed, but I believe it's God's will for you to be delivered, to be set free from the powers of the devil, amen, because the devil is the one that's lying to you. The, the devil is the one that got you confused, amen, trying to make you think that it's not working today, amen, amen. I believe that God wants to heal you right now, amen. I believe, he, I believe if you give him to have a chance, he'll do it right now. If you just had a little faith, the Bible says in the book of James chapter 5, verse number 14 says, If any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Amen. And then verse number 15 says, And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. Now, he didn't say that Brother Larry going to raise him up. He said the Lord is going to raise him up. Amen. The Lord is going to raise him up. And if he had committed what? If he had committed sin, they shall be forgiven him. Amen. Amen. So verse number 14 asks, if any sick among you, if any sick among you are in the church, so he must do what? He must call for the elders. If any sick around you, you got to call. In other words, you got you got to have enough faith that you can that, that you have you got to believe enough so you can call for someone to come pray for you. You got to believe it. Otherwise, you're not going to call someone to come pray for you. You just going to sit there and say, "Oh, oh, oh, I want to die. I want to die." <laughs> and believe me, if you keep crying like that, he going to oblige you. <laughs> he going to grant it to you. Glory to God. But that's not the will of God. That's not the will of God for you. Amen. That's, that's not the will of God for you. God wants to bring you to a place. Turn it up. My God, that ain't been on all this time. Glory to his name. Amen. Hallelujah. That's okay. <laughs> it's on now. Nobody, nobody told me that it wasn't on either. But that's okay. They might have been still hearing it. But God is letting us know, God is letting us know something, though. God is letting us know that sickness and disease does not come from him. Sickness and disease does not come from just because you've been a part of the church. Sickness and disease come from the enemy, the devil. Amen. The church is just, the church is your, is, is the sanctuary where God will call you to come to uh, hear the word and be and receive. Amen. It's a, it's a place where you come together, amen, where you can receive the word of God. Amen. Where you can be healed. Amen. And be set free. Mm -hmm. So it must be, it must, it must be God's will to heal anyone that is sick. Amen. It must be God's will. If it wasn't, then why would we want to, why would we go to him? We might just sit around and suffer. Amen. Just suffer it out. But I like what the word of God said. Many of the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivered them out of them all. Amen. The Lord delivered them out of them all. I want you to see, I want you to know that God loves you right where you are. Yes. He loves you right where you are. But God wants you to release your faith. He wants you to believe the word of God. He wants you to have faith in God. He wants you to believe the word of God. Amen. In the book of Mark chapter 11, in the book of Mark chapter 11, the Bible tells us in verse number 20, verse number 23, says that, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. Amen. He shall have whatsoever he said. So if I'm if I'm if my body is sick and I'm stuck and I'm stuck in study talking about how sick my body is, guess what? I'm gonna have it even more so. Because that's what that's what my conversation is all about. But if I choose to believe that God wants me healed, if I choose to believe that God wants to heal me, then I believe that God's word is true. And so I'm going to ask God, I'm going to, I'm going to go to God believing that I receive. Amen. I'm going to go to God believing that I receive. Amen. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. 
I'm going to believe that I receive. The Bible scholars agree that the, the entire book of uh, Job took place in nine to eight months. And, the, and, and in chapter two, you can, you can read about the works of God. For example, Job 42.10 says that God turned Job's captivity. That means when Job was sick, he was in captivity to the devil. So if God turned his captivity, that means God healed him. Amen. That means God healed him. When he, was, when he was in poverty, he was in captivity to the devil. So God, so God, see, because see, the devil went in and started taking everything that Job had. And he put all his sickness on Job. He was what? He was in captivity. But once, but once, once he passed the test, God did what? God poured it back on him. Twice as what he had. He had, the, he had twice as many children. He had twice as much money. He had twice as much property. Twice as much cattle. Amen. And, 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 and let me tell you something. And everything that and everything that he had, oh my God, he never said it was mine. <laughs> okay. The Lord Glory to God. And the Lord take it away. <laughs> but God turned but God turned Job captivity and gave him twice as much as he had to begin with. Amen. Twice as much. God wants to do the same thing for you. God wants to heal you. God wants to deliver you. God wants to set you free. He wants to restore your health. He wants to restore you to your rightful position. Amen. Your rightful place as an heir and a joint heir of Jesus Christ. You're an heir of God and a joint heir of Jesus Christ. Amen. With Jesus Christ. Everything that belongs to him belongs to you. Amen. Amen. So that means healing is God's provision for you. It's not something that you have to have, but it is God's provision for you. You can have it if you want it. You don't, now, if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. <laughs> but if you want healing, it is God's provision for you. God wants you to receive it. God wants you to acknowledge it. He wants you to walk in it. Amen. He wants you to experience His divine health and healing. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So God wants you to experience his, his, his divine provision for your life. God always has been opposed to sickness. He never thought sickness was any good because see, that's why he tells us in Luke chapter chapter 4 verse number 19 he said the spirit of the Lord is upon me. So he's talking about me now. <laughs> The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Mm -hmm. He has sent me to heal the broken heart. See, he's, he's, not, he's not opposed to you being sick. He's not opposed to you having a broken heart and stuff like that. But if you want to keep it, you're welcome to do it. But he, it's, not, it's, not, it's not God's best for you. Amen. Because he, 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 he sent us to heal the broken heart, to preach the liberty to the captain, to recover the sight to the blind, to set and lift to them that bruised, and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. See, now that's His will. That's his will. He wants to see you set free. He wants to see you free. And he that the Son is set free is what? Free indeed. It's free indeed. Amen. It's free indeed. And the Bible tells us in the book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse number 26, mm -hmm. If thou would diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and would do that which is right in his sight, and would give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, glory to God, he said, I will put none of these diseases which I have brought upon the Egyptians upon you. In other words, God said, I won't permit it. None of these diseases upon thee which I have brought. See, he brought them on the Egyptians. They didn't just happen to come on the Egyptians. He brought them on the Egyptians. Why? Because the Egyptians was working against his purpose. Working against his plan. Amen. And I wouldn't be surprised if this same diseases begin working on all of them that is opposing God's plan right now. People start to get sick. 
People starting to fall because they're opposing the plan of God. Hallelujah. Notice, it isn't the Lord who made them sick. He said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. So that means he's not the one making them sick. Amen. God didn't put sickness, he did not put diseases upon Israel, nor upon the, the Egyptian. It was their sin. And Satan did. God just allowed it. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. God, God allowed it. Satan is actually one that did it. Amen. The God of the world. Amen. He one brought it. Who make men? Who make men sick? Do Jehovah make men sick? No. No. The Bible tells us Jehovah Rapha is our healer. He's our healer. Look what it says in the book of Exodus chapter 23, verse number 25 and 26. And, and ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and will what? Take sickness away from the midst of thee. See, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? How is that going to happen? When you begin to step in his will, when you begin to stand according to his plan, Amen. Glory to God. There shall neither, thou shalt neither cast thou young nor be barren in the land. The number of thy days, thy will fulfill. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. See, God wants you to fulfill your days. He wants you to fulfill your time in the earth. Amen. That's why I like this scripture. With long life, I will satisfy you and show you my salvation. Amen. That's for me. And then that's, no, I'm talking about me. I'm not talking about you. That's for me. He said, with long life. With long life. Amen. So I believe that God wants to heal. God wants to deliver. Amen. I believe that God wants to... Someone, I'm talking to someone right now. You got a big tumor. You have a, a, a tumor on your body. A big tumor on your body. Glory to God. Oh, she le bakala la basondre sheke. Mongra seke la bakai. Hmm. Oh, Shiva Rabakai. You have a big tumor. In the name of Jesus. Lay your hand upon that tumor right now. In the name of Jesus. I speak to this tumor. You have not been sent by God. You are the work of the enemy of God. I speak to you, tumor, by the authority of one who have called me, the one Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I command you, tumor, to, to begin to die now in Jesus' name. I speak death over you, tumor, and I speak to the cause of it, and I release the healing power over the cause of it right now. In the name of Jesus, I command this tumor to dissolve. I command it to dissolve. And I command it to wither away. In the name of Jesus. Father, I release your healing power. I release it by faith in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That though they're anointing right now, they're just like fire all over your body right now. They're just like a... Uh, you, there's a heat wave, just like a heat wave all over you right now, and that's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost, and you're being healed right now of that tumor. You're being healed right now of that tumor in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, glory to God. In Jesus' name, thank you for it, Father. Thank you for it, Father. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't know who you were, but whoever you are, give me, uh, let me hear your testimony. You need, to, you, need, you need to share it. You need to let us see your testimony. I know I was talking to you. God was talking to you. And I need to hear your testimony. I was just standing back here and God revealed to me about a tumor. Amen. And it's on a, it's a, it's a man. That, it's on a man too. It's on a man. <laughs> Amen. It's on a man. I'm not talking about a woman right now. I'm talking about a man. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you're about 60. You're about 63, 64 year old too. Yeah. You about 63, 64 years old. Yes, Woo! Yes, Glory to God. Yes, yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, Barely hitting the tire. Woo! 
My God, the power of God is all over me. <laughs> Glory to God. Be healed in Jesus' name. Go, Tuma. In Jesus' name. Go, Tatala Bakia. Thank you, Lord. 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 Notice it's the Lord that's, that's healing the sick. Yes. Amen. Notice the Lord is the one that's healing the sick. That's why you got to believe. That's why you got to believe. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. Mark chapter 9, verse number 23. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. As long as Israel walked in the, in, in the, in the covenant, there was no sickness among them. As long as they walked according to the word of God, there was no sickness among them. Amen. There is no record of the of, 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 of people dying because of sickness and disease that's recorded in the Bible when the people walked up right before God. But when they got out of when they got out of the will of God, when they began to walk contrary to the will of God, all hell broke loose. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm telling you, glory to God. Amen. So God wants so God wants us to get our lives in order. God wants God wants to heal us. God wants to set us free. God wants to bring you to a place of inner peace. Amen. Glory to God. He wants to bring you to a place of inner peace. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Now I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a couple more scriptures here. Amen. I'm going, to, I'm going to give you a couple more scriptures here because I believe that it's God's will for you to be healed. I believe it is God's will for you to be healed. Amen. And I believe it's God's will for you to be healed now. Amen. To be healed now. Amen. Look at uh, Acts chapter 2, verse number 43. Acts chapter 2, verse number 43. I'm just going to give you a few scriptures right now, and then we're going to release our faith with you. Acts 2, verse 43. Are you there? Amen. And it says, And fear came upon every, and fear came upon every soul, and many wonders, and signs was wrought, was done by the apostles. Many signs was done by the apostles. Amen. And all that believed were together and had all things come. See, God wants you to believe. Now look at Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3, look at start reading verse number 1. Now, Peter and John went up there. There's again, we've been hitting this book for about every service lately. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, Peter and John went up together into the temple to pray, in the temple to, for the, at the ninth hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called, uh, which is called Beautiful. To ask alms of them that entered into the temple. And seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asking alms. And Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Amen. And the lame man stood up, and the lame man stood and jumped, walked, and entered with them into the temple. Amen. Glory to God. He went in there with them. God wants to do something right now so powerful in your life that it will cause your head to turn around three times. Glory to God. He wants to bring you to a place of faith. Look at Acts chapter 6, verse number 8. Acts chapter 6, verse number 8, and it reads, And Stephen felt, and Stephen full of the faith, full of faith mm -hmm. and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Now, that's talking about Stephen. They're not talking about Peter. That's talking about Stephen. Amen. God wants to do great miracles among you today. Amen. Can we back it up again to Acts? 
No, let's go back. Let's go forward. Acts chapter 8, verse 5. Acts 8, verse 5. Now notice what he said about Philip here. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip preached, which Philip, was, which Philip spake. Hearing and seeing, and notice what they said now, the miracles which he did. For unclean spirit cried with loud voice and came out of many that were possessed with them. And many taken with palsy and that were lame were what? Were healed. Were healed. Amen. God is showing us that these men <coughs> are just like me and like you and I. And he's showing us that just as they walk in the power of the word to what they understood to be true, <coughs> he's saying to us, we can walk in this way, we can walk in this word, we can walk in this power that we believe to be true. And as, and, and as we believe it to be true, and as we act upon it as truth, we'll see the power of God manifested on our behalf. <clears throat> Amen. Glory to his name. I need a sort of water here. It does get hot up here. From Amos 2, 73. Huh? After he cut back off, it probably says it went back up to 73 degrees. Uh, amen. <clears throat> so when I look at this, when I see when I see what's going on here, I look at I think about how God wrought special miracles mm -hmm. through his apostles and through his prophets. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then in the in the book of Matthew, no, in the book of Mark, chapter 5. In the book of Mark, chapter 5. In the book of Mark, chapter 5. I want to, I want to read this. Verse number 22. In the book of Mark, chapter 5, verse number 22. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet. Talking about Jesus. He saw Jesus and he fell at Jesus' feet. <clears throat> verse number 23. And besought him greatly, saying, My daughter lied at home, at my, my daughter lied at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hand upon her, that she may be healed. No voice it, that she may be healed, mm -hmm. and she shall live. And Jesus went about, and Jesus went with him, and much people followed him and throb him. And a woman, and a certain woman which had a, an issue of blood 12 years, had suffered many things of many physicians, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in a press behind, and touched his garment, for she said, if I may touch but his clothes. I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she was, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched me? Who touched my clothes? Mm -hmm. And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude throb in thee, and sayest thou who touched me? And he looked about, he looked around about to see her that had done this thing. Verse 33. This is Mark 6, Mark 5, verse 33. Mm -hmm. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And she said unto, and she and, and he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. See, it was the woman, she came to him expecting to receive her healing. Mm -hmm. She made up her mind that she was going to receive her healing. And see, the difference between this woman and you, you come expecting me to heal you. <laughs> this woman, she came 
with their heart focused on Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. And she said, I don't have to touch him. He don't even have to touch me. If I can just touch his clothes. Okay. Amen. If I can just touch his clothes. See, now, if you had that type of faith that if you can just touch the clothes of the man of God, okay. receive your healing because the virtue is there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. I believe that God wants to heal right now. I got I to gotta pray. I got to pray. I feel, I feel like right now is the time to release the anointing. Hallelujah. Oh, shout out back here. Right now is the time to release the anointing. I'm going to release that anointing right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father. Oh, Lord, my God, I thank you for the anointing. There it is. Oh, shout out about Kira. In the name of Jesus. Father, I release that anointing right now. In the name of Jesus. I ask you, Father, that you would touch those people that believe for healing, those that have pain in their body, those that are those bodies that are racking with pain right now, Father, that are under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, I ask you, Father, that you would touch right now by the power of your spirit. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that pain. I rebuke that pain in the, in the, in the head, head pain. I rebuke that head pain. I rebuke that eye pain in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that chest pain in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it right now. I rebuke that stomach pain right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that joint pain right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And I, Father, I bind up that spirit of infirmity. I bind that spirit of infirmity right now. And God, you said, whatever I bind on earth, it is bound in heaven. So, Father, I believe that you are backing me up right now. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I bind that spirit of infirmity, sickness, and disease. Now, Father, I loose it off of them right now in the spiritual room right now in Jesus' name. Now, Father, I release upon them your healing power. I release upon them your healing power from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Now, Father, I give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise for what you're doing right now because I know, God, that the anointed is working for their good. The anointed is working for their good because of their love for you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God. I praise you, Lord God. I worship you, Father. I honor you, Lord God. There is none like you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Someone I'm talking to right now, you got like a dull pain right here in your, in your, in your stomach, right here, right here beneath your rib, right at the, the lower part of your rib cage. So like, you got like a dull pain. Amen. And in the name of Jesus, I rebuke that pain. Put your hand on it right now. Put your hand upon that pain right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke that pain in the name of Jesus. And I command you to go. I command you to go. Father, I release your anointing, your healing power right now. Restore that health. Restore the health of that person in Jesus' name. God, I thank you for it. I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And someone, it's just like your heart is, your heart flutters. Your heart, you, you have a, your heart, your heart flutters sometimes. In other words, the mechanism of your heart, the mag, the mechanism, the mechanism of your heart is it loses rhythm. It loses rhythm, and sometimes it goes fast, and sometimes it slows down, and then sometimes you feel like you don't know what's going on up there. Father, lay your hand upon your heart right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak to that heart. I speak to that muscle of the heart, God, in the name of Jesus, and I command those the muscles of the heart to to function properly. Lord God, let the rhythm of the heartbeat function properly in the name of Jesus. I thank you for it. I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Ah, shit, I'm okay. you, uh, whoever that is, you need to stay off the caffeine for a while. You're drinking too much caffeine. <laughs> you need to stay off the caffeine because that's what's causing the, that was, that was, that was messing with your heart rhythm. You drank it throughout the day. You need to stop it. You need to stop it. Amen. Now that's, now that's if you don't want to stop it, it's up to you. But I'm just telling you, what you I'm just telling you what, what I just what I just got concerning that. Amen. If you want to keep doing it, it's up to you. But you need to stop it. Amen. You need to stop it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And someone I'm talking to right now, you got high blood pressure, high blood pressure. In the name of Jesus, I speak to that high blood pressure, and I command it to return to normal now. In Jesus' name. I command that high blood pressure return to normal now in Jesus' name. God, I thank you for it. Praise you. I praise you for it, Father. 
I praise you for it, Father, in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, in the name of Jesus, I don't know where your pain is at in your body. I'm just talk, I'm calling out those things what God gives me. But right now, I want you to just lay your hand upon your body. Lay your hand upon your body. You want to lay your hand on your stomach? You want to lay your hand upon your head? It don't matter. Lay your hand on your body. On your body right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, you said in your word that the believers shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Father, we are believers. Each and every one of us, we are believers. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing it, Father. So we believe, Father, as we lay our hands upon our body in the name of Jesus, the sickness and disease that have plagued our bodies in the name of Jesus has to go. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the sickness. I rebuke the infirmity. I rebuke the sickness in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that the, 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 the diabetes. I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. And I command that that I rebuke that, that liver pain right now in Jesus' name. Mm. Kidney, I rebuke that pain in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be healed now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lungs, I rebuke you. I rebuke that sickness of the lungs in the name of Jesus. I, I, Father, let that lung function properly in Jesus' name. Thank you for it, Father. Thank you for it, Father. Chemical imbalance. Chemical imbalance. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the chemicals line up in the body. I command those excess fluid to run off that body. Come off that body now in Jesus' name. Excess fluid, I command you to come off that body now in Jesus' name. Mangarasa barabaki, do rabasi, do to do rabaki, ma karesiki. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I speak to the spirit of deafness, to the spirit of deafness. I come, I rebuke you, I rebuke you off that child of God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, spirit of blindness, go now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, I give you glory. I give you praise, glory to God. I give you glory. I give you praise, Lord God. Father, all things work together good to them that love you, to those who are called according to your purpose. I thank you, Father, for your wonderful mercy, your grace, and your mercy. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord God. 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 Praise you, praise you, praise you, praise you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Bronchitis, command you to go right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, God, I thank you. I thank you. Father, let your anointing right now, let the power of the anointing right now that's resting upon me right now, Father, I release the impartations of your healing power right now in Jesus' name. Receive, receive your touch right now. Receive your healing power right now. Receive the healing right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Praise you, praise you. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Someone just had a stroke and you you walking, you still walking, but you're hopping. You, you had a stroke, you're walking, but you're hopping. And right now, in the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for restoring the nerves and the muscles and the memory. Restore the nerves, the muscles, and the memory in the name of Jesus. Everything that the cake worm, the caterpillar, the palm worm, the locust have eaten, restore now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh my God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Mm. Praise you. Praise you. Praise you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. I can't tell you what. I tell you what, God is, God is, God is good. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. Oh, shit out of my kind of my God is good. His mercy endured forever. Hallelujah. His mercy endured forever. Hallelujah. 
how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Father, everyone that has been oppressed by the devil right now under the sound of my voice, I counsel the assignment of the enemy concerning them right now in the name of Jesus, and I release divine health. I release divine health and healing over them right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Well, I'm, I'm, I just it. That's it. That's it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I feel like I feel like somebody been, been draining my strength. <laughs> amen. I, that's the way I feel right now. I feel they, they I, pulling on you. They pulling on me. They pulling. Yeah. And I feel I feel I've been drained. Amen. But that showed me that someone is listening. Someone is someone is believing. Amen. That showed me that someone is believing. And Father, for that person that is truly believing, I believe that that person right now will receive the full manifestation of your healing touch. Restore that person right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Restore that person right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for divine health and healing. It belongs, it's, healing is the children's bread. It belongs to them, Father. So let them be healed. Let them be restored now in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Well, glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is good. God is good. God is good. Amen. Glory to his name. How many of you know that, that God loves you right where you are? And it doesn't matter what you have been involved in. God loves you so much that if you just say, Lord, I know I did wrong. But if you just forgive me. I, I, I promise I'll, I'll try to be stronger the next time and not give in to it. And how many of you know that God will, he will take you at your word and he will believe that you will be strong when that, it, when that situation occur again because it will occur again. <laughs> and, uh, and, he just, and he wants you, to, he, and he want you to, to keep your word. He wants you to be strong. He wants you to be strong in him. Because it's in him that you live and move and have your being. It's not in your own self. God is a merciful God. And his love for you from everlasting to everlasting. His love for you is unconditional. Mm -hmm. Unconditional. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that's the good part about his love. Mm -hmm. It's unconditional. Mm -hmm. no strings attached. Hallelujah. And I thank God for that. He loved me unconditionally. Mm -hmm. Amen. That just blessed my heart. And free. <laughs> Don't have to pay for his love. It's free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Father, I pray for all those on the sound of my voice. Let your love and your compassion be extended toward them right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, I thank you. I give you the glory for it. Father, let your compassion be extended now. Have compassion upon those that are hurting under the sound of my voice. God, you will move with compassion in the word. Let your compassion be moved right now by your hurting people across the hurting, across this land. Our land is even hurting now. But we're here. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Amen. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I'm over time. But there's no time like overtime. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's go ahead and receive. Let's, let's receive the offering. Those of you that with us by the internet. Amen. Those of you by the internet, you want to sow a seed today? Please go to my website, Library Ministries.
Amen. Go to my website, LabRecordMinistries.com and plant your seed. Amen. And uh, if you want to send it by the mail, you may do so. You may do so now. Glory to God. That's P.O. Box 417913, Sacramento, California. 95841. Oh, hallelujah. I feel like I've been drained. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Father, I thank you. I give you the glory, Father. Now, Father, strengthen me. Strengthen this, your servant. I received your strength now. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Now, Father, we bless this offering. We sanctify this offering. God, may this offering be used for your kingdom and for your glory. May we experience your goodness and your mercy, Father, because of this offering. Father, may your hand rest upon our finances because of this offering. May we walk in the spirit of abundance because of this offering. In the name of Jesus, let us be blessed in the field, blessed in the city. Let us be blessed going out and let us be blessed coming in. Let us be now, Father, the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. Let us become lenders and not borrowers. Let us become men and women of faith, not men and women of unbelief and doubt. But God, let us walk worthy of the vocation of your calling upon our lives. We bless this offering. We say that it's done now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. If you're here today, you've never been born again. Maybe you listen to me, you've never been born again. I want to pray for you right now. If you've never been born again, you never been, you never asked Jesus Christ to forgive you your sin, I want to pray for you right now. Say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Create in me a right spirit and renew in me a clean heart. Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God and that you died for my sin. Because I believe this and confess with my mouth today, I receive you as my Lord. Now I am saved. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. If you said that prayer right now, God is working on your behalf to bring you to a place of inner peace and inner healing. Amen. And get this, folks. He's going to reveal himself to your heart so that you can know him. And once he began to do that, ask him, Lord, where would you have me to go to be trained up? Where would you have me to go to be taught? Where would you have me to go to learn of you? And he's going to direct you to the church that he's already prepared for you to go in. And once you, once you do that, you go there and you sit under that pastor that what God sent you and you hear, you listen to the word of God, you take that word of God, you, you digest that word of God. You let the word of God just strengthen you and minister to your heart. Amen. Glory to God. Now, Father, I pray for that man, that woman, Father, that had just opened up their heart and invited you in. I pray, Father, that the peace of God that's a pass of all understanding rest upon them from this day forward. And Father, let them learn quickly of your love and your character and your nature so that they can begin to walk in your love and your character and your nature so that the world can see that they have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of your dear son. I thank you for it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. You here today, you need prayer right now, I pray for you. You need prayer right now, I pray for you. Anyone need prayer right now, I pray for you. Glory to God. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release your anointing for strength. I rebuke fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia. I rebuke it right now in Jesus' name. I release the healing power to flow into this area of her body. And Father, I thank you. Now, God, I release that by faith in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, touch her body. Touch her, Lord. 
And God, I thank you. Thank you for it, Father. In Jesus' name. I rebuke that fatigued spirit. I loose it from her now. In Jesus' name. I give her the strength and the ability to move forward in that which you've given her, put in her heart to do. And I thank you for it. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let me pray for you, brother. Come over here. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release that anointing, that healing power right now. Oh, the out of From the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. God, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. In Jesus' name. There it is. Receive the power right now. There it is. Receive it. There it is. Receive it. Thank you, Father. Thank you for it, Father. Jesus. 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 Woo! Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Father, I release my faith upon those that are with us by the internet. God, I release the anointing upon them also. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the peace of God rest upon them as they have released their faith to receive their healing. Now, Father, let the manifestation of it come now. In Jesus' name, we thank you. We praise you for it. Amen and amen. Glory to God. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. God is good. Amen. Thank you all for joining us. I thank God for you guys. Amen. And I believe that God is touching your bodies, that you are walking in divine health and healing. And I believe that everything that the devil has meant for evil, God is turning around for his glory. No weapon formed against you prospering. Everything that God intends for you to walk in is beginning to spring forth now. Amen. His goodness and his mercy endured forever. Amen. That's right. That's right. Shake them legs. <laughs> Shake those legs. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, thank you all for joining us. My name is Pastor Larry, New Life of Christ Jesus Church, Sacramento, California. We thank you for joining us. We ask you to join us again on Tuesday night as we come back to share with you the living word of God. We love you. Until then, God bless you and God be with you. Bye-bye.